big win for you guys last Friday night over Hampshire. Uh, 38-21 was a pretty close game early on, but you guys were able to pull away. What did you take away from it? Uh, I was I was happy with our run game. Um, AJ and Allen both had really good games. Tavon Jones even got his little bit there coming back from an injury from the week before. Uh, but I was happy with the way our kids uh, handled the fact that we were in a tight game at halftime then came out in the second half and took care of business. What was, I guess, the message uh, at halftime to kind of get them to respond that way they did? Uh, defensively, they got us three times. We got stuck in communication errors in the secondary, and they hit us with some big passes. The guys that were wide open because we had some breakdowns. Uh, I told them we need to clean it up and talk. Our offense was doing well in the first half. I said defensively we were doing well, other than the fact we gave up like four big chunk plays, which three of them led to touchdowns. Uh, we needed to clean stuff up and go out in the second half and play football the way we can, and they responded to it, and we played well in the second half. As your team has developed and, and gotten maybe a little bit more mature out, out there on the field and having a greater understanding of what's going wrong, how, how have you seen over this season uh, the team improve in terms of making those adjustments at halftime? Uh, we make good adjustments at halftime. The kids usually respond to it well, but we're still young in a lot of places, and we're still making mistakes that that you think that we wouldn't be making late in the year. But uh, the kids are getting better at it. But the biggest thing is, is when we do make a mistake, when we get to the sideline, the kids understand what's going on, and they can actually explain what happened so we don't do it again. What were some other things, or who were maybe some guys that stood out to you within the game? Uh, again, I thought offensively our O-line did really well blocking. Uh, our running backs were able to, to chew up chunks yards all night. Uh, Alan and AJ and Tavon I thought did really well. Uh, Michael and Bray I thought did well. Offensively I thought we played a great game. Second half defensively I thought we played really well. Coach, unless there's anything else you have to say about uh, this last week's game, let's shift the focus to Musselman, uh, Appleman, Having not their typical season, but always a tough team, you guys are headed to Musselman. What are some things that stand out to you about them? Uh, Coach Thomas's boys play four quarters of football. It doesn't matter what the score is. Uh, they're tough and they keep coming at you. Uh, they're pretty. They're a running touch style team. They've been opening up the pass here the last couple of weeks, but uh, we definitely got to be ready for the run game. What are some of the steps that you guys are taking here this week to uh, prep for the run game? Uh, we're studying our keys. We're making sure that we know exactly what we do and be gap responsible when we're playing them. They're that single wing type team that we got to make sure we take away all eight gaps or they may be able to pop something on us. You mentioned the single wing and all the different things that teams can do off of that. And Musselman has been able to throw a lot of different looks at teams uh, in that offense. So, Coach Hunter talked about it this past week heading into the game. It's tough to prepare for because you can't really simulate it because you're not going to run it as crisp as they do. So uh, what are some of the challenges going up against the single wing? Uh, it, it is getting the scout team to get used to running that style offense. Uh, uh, we started on Monday. Our scout team had a couple issues with the snap because it, it, when they're in their true wing, the quarterbacks are staggered or should I say running backs are staggered. So uh, them guys and the scout team understanding it. Uh, offensive line-wise, I'm pretty sure our line's done a pretty good job with it. But, again, it's we're trying to simulate the best we can and give our guys the best look so we can fully understand what's going to happen in front of us on Friday night we're reading our keys. With the win, it's also an opportunity uh, to be over 500 at the end of the regular season, something that does not usually happen at Washington. I know you still got to take care of the job first on Friday night against Musselman, but how much is that kind of in the back of your mind, knowing uh, it can be a potential milestone for this school? Uh, I, I, we're not really thinking about it. We're thinking about playing Musselman, doing what we have to do, and moving on to the next week. We know the task in hand this week in front of us is that we're going to have to stop the run game and make sure we don't fall asleep in the pass game. Uh, our offense knows that we're going to have to be consistent in the run game, hopefully get some big balls here and there in the pass game, and be successful and then move on to the next week. 
And also, Coach, uh, another EPAC game, another EPAC rivalry. So uh, we've talked about, you know, all season your team achieving a lot of those those goals of winning EPAC games and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you only picked up one EPAC win so far, but you finished the year with two big EPAC games here to end the season. So what's that, I guess, like to have the program at this point, even though everybody makes the playoffs in a situation where – uh, people can be excited about the program and also excited for these kind of matchups. Yeah, uh, we want to we want to try to have one of our goals was to have a positive record in the EPAC. Uh, this week brings us an opportunity to work towards that goal. Uh, we want to go one and zero again this week. All right, coach. Anything else? If not, we'll get to the fun question. All right, hit me. Fun question with it being. Halloween uh, tomorrow. What are, I guess, your favorite uh, Halloween costumes that you wore going up? And uh, will you be dressed as anything tomorrow? If so, what it is? Uh, wow. Well, uh, I've gone as a lot of non-PG things in my time, uh, but we'll stay PG. Uh, I went as uh, Hulk Hogan one year. Uh, had the whole get up. It's when he was in the NWO. So I had the, the, the black beard and I wore like a bald cap and it was at a party. Yes. Uh, tomorrow night, I don't know if I'm going to dress up or not. I know the kids have been pushing me maybe tomorrow to have a little fun at practice. We'll see what happens, but I'll definitely be handing candy out tomorrow night in Harper's Ferry. All right. Thank you, coach. I appreciate it, guys.